What movie was so forgettable that you know you watched it, but can't recall anything about the events of the movie? That movie with The Rock being a tooth fairy. All I know was that he was a tooth fairy. I believe you're thinking of Tooth Fairy starring The Rock. The one thing I remember from that movie is that he had deodorant that made him invisible but he ran out and went half invisible. Soul Survivors, I know I've watched it three times. I remember saying I'm sure I must have seen this, before I put it on the last two. Not a single shot remains in my brain. Assassin's Creed. Apparently I saw it in theaters with my now ex. When I bought it on Blu-ray she asked why. I said I'd been wanting to see it. She explained that we saw it in the theater and it was terrible. She was right. I completely forgot it even had a movie until this comment. It was such a weird movie. Like, they sort of took the basic premise of the first game and made it much worse. At that time, I had played every Assassin's Creed game and even I didn't really know what was going on half the time. Independence Day, Resurgence Honestly all I can remember is actively rooting for the main cast to die. This is a great example for me. Definitely saw it. What I remember, Will Smith wasn't in it. Jeff Goldblum was. Something about killing an unkillable giant alien mother? To save Earth? Damn that movie was really bad. I remember A Train from the Boys played Will Smith's son, who technically wasn't his son in the original movie, right? He was Vivica Fox's kid and eventually became his stepson. Cowboys vs Aliens. All I remember is in the title. James Bond in America with a mean Han Solo. I'll never forget seeing this trailer in the theater and before the title card my dad said what is this movie about? Cowboys and aliens? Then immediately the title hit the screen and I laughed my ass off. There was an animated with aliens that starred Rihanna, I think, and I remember saying they totally ripped off the plot to the Jimmy Neutron movie but I don't know why I thought that edit, it's called Home but in looking up Rihanna to find that I vaguely remembered seeing Battleship and I know absolute fuck all about that one. And here I thought you were talking about the one where Rihanna is a shape changer stripper, aka NSFW Morph. That's a terrible movie vaguely based off an absolutely hilarious book called The True Meaning of Smith Day. They gutted everything good about that book when they made the movie. Dark Phoenix. Yup. I was thinking X-Men Apocalypse and then the one after it because it all blends into nothing. Valiant, that Disney movie about carrier pigeons from England. The what? I remember this movie the same way I remember dreams from when I was four. Nothing but a few images and very vague ideas surrounding I. I have Netflix, so it happens all the time. 85% of their catalog looks like stuff from those cardboard bins full of crap $3 DVDs at Walmart. It doesn't help that they feel the need to redesign the thumbnails every two or three weeks, so if you duty remember it by the title, it looks completely different. I'm copy and pasting a comment I left the other day which exactly answers this. Let me tell you about Suicide Squad. It came out on Amazon Prime while I had it and I figured, I'll put that on and see if it's as bad as I expect it to be. I watched it, finished it then went about my week. A few weeks pass, it comes to Netflix and I think, I should watch that to see if it's as bad as I expect it to be. I got 15 minutes in before I realized I'd already seen it about a month ago for this exact reason. In the space of that time I entirely wiped the movie from my brain. I still remember nothing about it now. Downsizing. They shrink and that's about it. They played the commercials as if it's a comedy and it's not, 10 minutes after he shrinks it becomes absolutely miserable. That movie had such potential, but by the end it was a totally different and pointless plot. Epic, you know that 2013 film in which some girl shrinks to the average ant's size, yeah that's about all I remember. Don't forget the snails and the people in leaves, and Om Guy just realized it's a pretty but worse thumbelina. Awesome graphics toe. I think it was called Planet 51. 
kids movie about a mission control alien whose astronaut brother gets captured on Earth and has to rescue him. All I remember about it was Earth was apparently terrifying to the aliens. Edit, got the name wrong, it's Escape from Planet Earth. That's the different one that I can remember the name, Planet 51 is about an astronaut who gets stranded on an alien planet. I forgot everything else, other than the astronaut's ringtone sucked. You're thinking of Escape from Planet Earth, with Brendan Fraser and William Shatner. Planet 51 is the one about a NASA astronaut who landed on a 1950s planet. Both are good films. When I was a young lass, my best friend took me to a couple movies, none of which were any good. But the one I remember the least about was some comedy called Man of the House starring Tommy Lee Jones as some sort of police officer who had to protect a large gaggle of cheerleaders. And that's all I got on that one. I'm not saying I had great taste at 14, but I do remember being thoroughly bored by the proceedings. I'm so mad that my brain made me read this whole comment to the tune of Black Parade. I've said this elsewhere, but my wife completely blanked on watching Suicide Squad with me. Then she kept saying we should watch it. I said we did. She kept swearing that she hadn't seen it and I kept swearing that we had and we both hated it. Then I finally relented and said, I know we've seen it, but whatever. Let's watch it. We made it through about 30 minutes before she turns to me and says okay, so we have seen it. It isn't any better this time around, let's watch something else. Edit, holy heck, guys and gals. I woke up to more comments than I'm used to. I'm having fun reading through all your comments. I'm glad to see my wife and I are not the only ones to have experienced this phenomenon of seeing and immediately forgetting a film. I never saw it. At least, I think I didn't. Which is weird because I saw almost all the other superhero movies and now I have doubts. My boyfriend and I just had this conversation last week. He was convinced we never watched it, and I tried to explain the plot but then realized I didn't really remember anything about it except that one of the Suicide Squad members becomes the villain or something. But then why was the squad formed in the first place? I still have no clue. That new Men in Black movie with Thor. Literally don't remember one scene from that movie. There was the part where Chris Hansworth picks up a regular hammer during a fight and holds it up dramatically like Thor. I thought that was pretty funny. I honestly forgot I had seen this until your comment, let alone any of the plot. G.I. Joe. Pretty sure there was a fight between two ninjas at one point and that's all I can remember. I can't even remember if the fight was any good. For a moment, I thought wow, they made a G.I. Joe movie. Then I remembered, and all of that childhood disappointment flooded back. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Can't remember a thing aside from him surviving a nuclear bomb by being in a refrigerator. Shia LaBeouf Tarzans through a Mexican jungle alongside CGI primates. Also CGI and Cedar Man after a bizarre, anticlimactic jungle mowing sequence. Other than that all I remember is he's forced to team with commies and then the commies get vaporized by aliens at the end and a bunch of weird floating pyramids. Fantastic Four, most recent one, seen that shite thrice now and still don't understand how they actually released the film as it was. It didn't really have a plot. I can't even say that its plot is just the origin story of the F4, because they changed the origins. My clearest memory of that film is getting to the time skip and nearly getting up and walking out. Really? You're going to have a sudden time skip three quarters of the way through the movie, after they've only just gotten their powers? Like, the original F4 movie wasn't the best, but at least it took some time to show them exploring their powers. Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. I know I saw it and it had Jude Law and Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie and it was a visually interesting movie, but I couldn't tell you what it was about if you put a gun to my head. I think I'm one of the few that enjoyed it I love Art Deco and the pulp slash Max Fleischer feel of it. It's not a great movie by any means but I thought it was fun. I certainly get why others would not have as much fun with it too. It was about giant robots. 
I think the robots and the humans both shot ray guns. They wanted to colonize space with a spaceship zoo farm. Elizabeth Town I can only tell you that Kirsten Dunst and Orlando Bloom are in it because I remember the cover of the DVD. For some reason, I will stop and put this movie on any time I see it and it has slowly become one of my favorite movies. Orlando Bloom does truly one of the worst American accents I've ever heard. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.